Hey, uh, what have you been doing recently? Well, honestly, Keith, as you would imagine, after Drex's defeat, there was fancy balls, dress parade, <laughs> and the wiener roasted out. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Ratchet and Clank too. A lot. I'm on challenge mode three right now, and I am busy working on the races to get the platinum bolts so that I can platinum this fucking game and move on to Ratchet 3 you've been, and not ever look back. You've been playing Ratchet and Clank for like three months straight at this point. And I'm, you know, this, the funny thing is, is I'm like, I'm not getting sick of it. You know, I, I think the reason is because I haven't played the original Ratchet and Clanks in almost fucking 12 years that it's wow. just, I'm making up for lost time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I get you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I hear Ratchet 2's your favorite from a birdie on my shoulder. Uh, um, Ratchet 2 is my second favorite. Oh. My first favorite is always going to be the first Ratchet and Clank. Always. As, even as I'm playing this right now, I just, I, I want to go back to the first Ratchet. Even though I've already platinumed it, I, I just, I can't get enough of the first game. You see, as much as I love the first Ratchet and Clank, it really hasn't aged well for me. Mm. There's just, like, the 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 combat the you know the comedy and the story in Ratchet and Clank one was probably some of the 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 best in the PS uh, or in the PS two trilogy. Although Ratchet was kind of a dick in the first game, but you know it builds character. That, I that's suppose. the thing for me. That's why I love the first Ratchet game. The... You know, speaking of speaking of Ratchet and stuff, I found out some. I don't know if you you realize this, but did you know in Ratchet two, if you skip all the uh, behind the hero things, like a secret cutscene plays. What? Did you know that? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like I, I skipped uh, the first one, and Ratchet was like, "So that's why my butt's been itching. It's been a hygienator." Oh no, that's not secret. Yeah, that's not. It's not that, a secret. That, oh, that I've never seen it. I've never seen that, and I've never skipped like my last time. Like, what the hell? Interesting. What's wrong with me? Interesting. <laughs> I'm. A, well, there's a lot mind. wrong with you. We just need to. Oh, you we'll figure that out. Yeah, well, thank you very life. much, too, Jack. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, um, but Jack, how about you? What have you been at? Um, I recently just got uh, access to a PlayStation Four again because you know mine broke when I another white one <laughs> launched. <laughs> uh, so sad. I've just been PS fourless this entire whole, entire time. That's sad. Yeah, but with that, I got. Uh, but with that, I got the uh, Ratchet and Clank reboot, which which I always wanted to play, which was which was pretty good. I don't know if it's the greatest Ratchet and Clank game, but it's 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 a very beautiful game and it's a very fun game to play. It just it doesn't have the soul yes. that the previous games uh, did. I completely agree. And with I that. got and I got Last of Us remastered because I just I loved The Last of Us when when it first came out. I think I knew Game Plus like twenty times. Jesus. Um, and playing through the story again i don't like i haven't seen i haven't watched a single cutscene from that game since like 2013 uh <laughs> so i i'd more or less uh forgotten it and ah uh, it 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 ages like fine wine man well naughty dog games don't age for me every naughty dog game you can go back and play just as you could play any like for computer jack one visually has aged and i don't like the camera controls because uh, unless you're playing on the ps3 version it's all inverted okay fair enough mm. that's fine but gameplay wise you can't tell me that's aged oh yeah mm. it still holds yeah. up as good as that pattern at uh, me I have, anyway Keith, I, we've I, talked I, about us yes me i have been, what, what about you i've been trying to get back into games because i've been on a bit of a slump lately i've been kind of going through that phase where i just hate all games because that happens and just yeah. i've been burnt out on listen games. to this shit people listen to this shit people you ready for this right so keith recently got his hands on horizon zero dawn <laughs> right Ooh. incredible and game i'm not gonna lie he, he, i rate he this played game it. i rate this game at he 10 out it. of 10 and I fucking hate it. Can you <laughs> explain like that to me? On Metacritic, like. <laughs> eight out of eight. Not great, mate. It's we like everything about this game is fucking near perfect. There's only very few little nitpicks I can say about the game that 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 that, that is just does it not? Does it not have any soul? That's what it feels like to me. It just feels like it's soulless. It just feels like I have no connection to it. I've been playing it like a zombie. I'm like, oh, this is so good. I hate it. I, I, I get no feeling from it. And Nick brought up a very interesting point when I told him this. He said maybe because there's no dick in it. 
<laughs> There's no what in it? There's no sausage. There's no dick. You play as a feet like like this is a lot of the reasons why a lot of women don't play video games. It's because there isn't enough fucking roast beef sandwich in it. Okay? <laughs> okay. It's Hold up. real shit. Hold up. Horizon Zero Dawn was made by the same people who made Killzone? Correct. Mm-hmm. Yep. What a weird fucking transition. Well, well fucking hell, Last of Us makers made Crash Bandicoot, so... Yeah. Fair enough. But, I mean, before they made Last of Us, they made Uncharted, so... True, true. <laughs> More Uncharted made <laughs> Jack and Baxter, so, you know... Well, that's was... a fucking... <laughs> But, uh, my heart, I mean, uh, yeah, Horizon, uh, every time. don't let my words fool you. The game is fucking phenomenal. It's just, I'm an arsehole. And it's not, don't let like, people are gonna take that the wrong way because of the internet. It's not because I'm a fucking sexist to get that out of your mind. It's because I just can't, I don't know what it is. It, that may be nothing to do with the reason, but it's just, that's the only thing that sticks out in my mind as to why probably that's probably an underlying reason why. Then again, well, can it, you not connect with the character, the main character? I can connect with any of the characters in it. I just, I just. But then again, but then again, you played Bayonetta and fucking loved exactly. it. Exactly, I love Bayonetta. Bayonetta is fucking phenomenal, and I connected with that like a motherfucker. So that's probably not to do with it, but whatever. I'm weird. That's my story. I mean, did did you did you connect with Ellie? Yes, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, those were my favorite parts of fucking The Last of Us was being able to play as Ellie, especially when Joel gets a fucking toothpick through his side, <laughs> and when you have to like. <laughs> when you actually have to like play as Ellie and like survive and like how it starts you off hunting in the woods and stuff, it was just like, oh, this is good. This is really good. I I really loved that part because uh, when the game came out, it came out in 2013, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 2012, I, was it? 2013. 2013. No, it was 2013. Oh. So I I was uh, I was 14 at the time. So I was I was Ellie's age. Um. Uh, so I I you know could kind of be like, wow being a fucking being me in this fucking scenario bro i'd like i'd like die in like two seconds like i i'm out bye <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that yeah so last was great